You too, what's good? We're going to be reacting to KSI and Local Paul just got exposed big time. Um, don't know what it's really about. But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let's get into it. KSI and Logan have been exposed yet again. So last time we talked about how KSI said he was 1 million IQ and he was fooling all of us with a fake meltdown about his song, despite crying to his friends in private and genuinely getting angry while the cameras were off. We also had Logan laughing at his moldy food product that is being sold to children and saying that his feelings were hurt by Tommy in it. But today we have a... Okay, let's be honest. I thought we already established that KSI was doing all this to promote the song. Was that? Oh, was I the only person who knew who noticed that? Like, I'm, I for not one minute I thought KSI was actually upset because nigga was giving him eight. That's like one thing. Oh, there's two things. Not even two things, but one of the major things is like you niggas on the internet. I know you niggas just love hate. Hate is always gonna overseas overseas pop positive shit always bunch of updates with ksi's best friends exposing him for lying we have ludwig exposing logan paul for allegedly pretending to drink prime but swapping it out with water we also got the and that's another thing i thought we already established that like okay let's keep it a bump right did you know this really thought that logan paul was sitting down on every episode of impulsive drinking prime Let's be real. Like, I'm not the smartest nigga in the world, but I thought about that. These niggas are... And, and Logan Paul is an athlete. The nigga needs water. Oh, he promotes Prime. Yeah, he's promoting his product. You know? I just thought it was... I just thought I knew that. Oh, probably water inside that bottle. EA investigating the moldy lunchly. Allegedly, somebody got sick after eating the product. And we got some Mr. Beast updates as well. So let's start with the Sidemen absolutely exposing KSI for lying. Quick context for the newcomers. Basically, everybody hated KSI's new song called Thick of It, and KSI got very angry about it, and now he's pretending he did it on purpose to promote his song. The si but like I said, I, I thought he just, like, the nigga, I, I really thought the nigga was joking. I am not one, maybe in the early stages, when a song first came out, but once you see the song going up and how often it, it, it became a trend to hate the nigga, I thought he was like, hmm, let me get some bread off of this. I thought the nigga wasn't taking that shit serious as well. I've been believed KSI's anger might. towards the hate on his song was real. I thought JJ no orchestrated, orchestrated it all. He, he is claiming that now. He, he is claiming that. He, 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 he claims that to we us now. We know him. We know him. We know that yeah, at one know point he was burning. Bro, okay, bro, yeah. Bro, in the early he stages. He to overcome it. Yeah. But so now, now, now he tries to turn to us and say, but oh, forever no, he's going to claim it all along. Forever he's going to oh, claim okay. that. Do you know what? What is it when the actor, he's method acted his way yeah, into said, fully yeah. thinking So all the people that were posting it, like random celebrities, like, oh, this song, this little Robert and stuff like that. That wasn't JJ. No. No, no, he's saying that's an arse fault. He like that's led into jumping it. on it. But then he led into serious? it. I thought that he had his network. No. What, reach out to people? No. Yeah, like reach out. There's probably no. like, actors no. and that. I don't even know. I can't remember. I just saw people just posting it saying, oh, this tune here. He was sat in that very seat. Burn. Like this, burning. Burn. I said to him, I said to him, listen, you idolized Drake for so long. He's now posted your song in his thing. And he was like, yeah, I guess. That was his response. Because he was burning. We got the train home, like Josh said, from Dublin. Oh, where was it? Where, no, Birmingham. No, Birmingham even, yeah. <laughs> bro Shut up, Birmingham. Because we was mocking him. Like, he, was, bro was, he said he had the worst train ever because of me and he was going, Okay, before we finish this clip, there's like a whole minute more. I just got to say, I freaking called it, okay? Call me Alakazam because I just used Future Sight. It was so obvious that he was genuinely raging. You literally cannot fake that much salt. Only Ultra Omega KSI Glazers, like absolute Mike Majakalak level simps thought that KSI was actually some mastermind just mind controlling I'm sorry you know what is ultimate glaze he talked what did he just say obvious that he said okay call me Alakazam because I just used future sight it was so obvious that he was genuinely raging you literally cannot fake that much salt only ultra omega KSI glazers like ultra KS ultra nigga no you are the ultimate look bro one two three four five bro look you look at this shit 
Bro, the content on your page is literally on KSI. Yo, your page is literally KSI and Logan Paul and Mr. Beast criticisms. Like you, li you literally have a gangbang going on in your mouth right now for how much dick you sucking. Because like, bro, you, oh, it's like, what the fuck? Mr. Beast finally sued. He's done. How much, how much he done can you do? <laughs> He's done. He's done. <laughs> finally over. <laughs> He's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Finally done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Finally finished. <laughs> Bro, if anything, you're the dick rider. And this is coming from me from a person who does reactions. I'm just saying. I know my lane and I stick in it. But I'm not calling nobody else a dick rider for no reason. More Mr. Beast. Bro, listen. How much is over the penalty? Two months? Two months? Ago? Bro, listen. Look. You literally. The end. Okay, one, two, how much is this? Four, five, seven, eight, nine. Actually, this is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bro, look. Ten out of your last eleven content you post of Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Chris is Mr. Beast. It's, it's Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Uh, oh, not Mr. Beast. Give me that one. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. Bro, and the worst part about it, you're not even posting no fucking positive things about the net. You literally riding the nigga dick for all things negative. I don't give a fuck with none of y'all saying this comment. Or if, if I get any fucking comment. But, nigga, you're weird. You on this nigga dick. Hard. No condom. Just dick riding a nigga. It's, it's lame. Absolute Mike Majakalak level simps thought that KSI was actually- Nigga, you said you made- you, you, you sucking all of Mr. Beast. Yes, I understand. You're gonna milk as much as you can to get revenue or whatever, but whatever. Always some mastermind just mind controlling everyone. Watch all the KSI defenders just suddenly disappear from the comment section. Nowhere to be found. Suddenly can't be yapping anymore when his own best friends are calling him out. Now after this they basically say that KSI gaslighted himself so much that he actually convinced himself that he purposely lied to his seven best friends behind the scenes when the cameras were off to manipulate them and to make sure that his own friends also fell for the supposed troll along with the internet. That delusion is crazy. He said he had the worst train journey ever because of me and he He was going, no, <laughs> it was, and then he was, he was, it was, it was when he, he came back from the toilet. Bro, he sat there and he went, it's not fair, man. He was burning. <laughs> when he came back from the toilet, he was like, it's not good. Yeah. He was having serious heart to heart to about how it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And then That's... it now comes into our group chat and just says, Oh no, I knew it all along, but I had to, like, we're like, behind closed doors, you were still. Okay, annoyed. yeah, so you know, you know. We know yeah, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. burned. No, 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 he was, saying, he was saying, saying I had to make you not believe it too, and I was yeah. like, why would we yeah, yeah, believe yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. He's method acted his way into now telling us that he manipulated us. He believes it. He believes <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's method acted us now. so much. Oh my god, that is so stupid. KSI really trying to rewrite history completely. He was seething in private, crying to his best friends, and now he's trying to tell them, oh my god, you fell for it. Meanwhile, they were genuinely checking up on him, like asking, are you okay? You know, mentally as good friends do. And he just turns around and says, you're all just stupid. I'm a genius. I played all of you. I said this last video, but this guy's literally Schrodinger's idiot. Let me do something stupid. And depending on the result, let me change it and say it's a joke. Guys, you don't understand. I was only pretending to be angry to tank my reputation and all of my businesses just to promote my song. And even if hypothetically in some alternate universe, right? Suppose, okay, he's a master troll. Is it really worth fooling your best friends into thinking you're having a genuine mental breakdown that they genuinely get concerned for you and worried about you and have to check up on you? Like either way, you're just a massive scumbag and a loser. He's, he's messed up so much. He's gaslighted like enough saying that, like, no, nah, he's been it all along. He was so bothered. I've got you. Like, I'm I had like, to. Bro, you're in <laughs> yeah. group chats at home, 10 a.m. Yeah. I had no, to message him. Going on Capital respect. letters spamming out, angry. I had to and message you're him. that that's us. From time I have to send you a message, you go, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, like, it's serious. You're not sitting there laughing, going, hey, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is why I had I kept getting, I was like, stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> because. Just accept that you was burned, man. 
I'm so glad that this clip came out so that all the absolute negative 100 IQ KSI fans in the comments can finally shut their mouths, dude. People were legitimately in the comments being like, KSI totally got you, bro. You fell for it. You're so stupid. Like, Timmy, you gotta hop off, all right? I don't know how you defend this. How big of a schlong do you need in your mouth to defend this? Please. No, uh, you need <laughs> two months of Mr. B schlong and yours. Hell, hey, he is the biggest content creator in the world, so I guess we could say you need the biggest shalong in your mouth. <laughs> but, like I say, for me personally, I don't think KSI initially dropped this song saying, oh, this is going to be so bad and I'm going to promote it. No, I thought, I honestly believe, when he dropped the shit, he was like, yeah, this is going to be some hot shit. And I was like, nah, nah bro, this shit's ass. And he'd be like, no, it's not. It's pretty good. No, it's like he got upset. Don't get me wrong. I believe he did get pissed off. Until he's must he's like, no, bro, it's pretty good to be fucking good, bro. Like he's actually getting mad. And then after a while, he's like, you know, I feel like after a while, when he realized how much money he's getting, it's like, hmm. Yeah, let me write it up. And that's when I feel like he started reacting to other people doing when he started reacting to other people reactions to the, to the song and cracking jokes, that's when I feel like he was fake being fake mad. But in the early stages, yeah, for sure, he definitely was. He was, he was tight. He definitely was tight. But yeah. you tell me the exact length in centimeters so that I can mail it to you. Because this is KSI's own best and closest friends for over a decade saying that he was genuinely mad and now he's trying to spin it and he's lying about it. He was raging in private group chats, typing in all caps. He was complaining on train rides, genuinely like coming back from the bathroom being like, it's not fair, bro. They had to genuinely check up on his mental state and now he's trying to gaslight them into thinking that they got played. It is so pathetic. Bro got absolutely destroyed and uh ksi actually did respond to this with the tweet he tweeted out saying shake my head real friends how many of us i mean i don't know what that means real friends tell things how they are which is exactly what they did in fact they're probably the realest friends you've got and in fact, you're probably the one who backstabbed them because according to your logic or whatever, you played all of them, right? So you you trick them into thinking you had like a mental breakdown. Like that's not something a good friend does. That's messed up. Also, what is this profile picture? He's genuinely gone insane. You can't tell me this man has not lost his mind. Here's what the replies are saying. Run it back. And we got a diss track from the old uh, YouTube beef. Basically, KSI did have beef with the sidemen in the past. It was like partly a joke and partly serious. But of course, they have like a whole empire together multiple channels multiple businesses so even if there was tension it's very unlikely they'd actually leave each other next video i'm leaving the sidemen honestly they'd probably be better off like you're kind of tarnishing their name with all the bs you're doing like nah stop it the rest of them are probably decent. Anyways, moving on to the most unexpected thing ever, Ludwig exposing Logan Paul. Now, before we get to this, Ludwig in the past has actually been a Mr. Beast Glazer, all right? Not this nigga calling Mr. Beast Gla I mean, a uh, Mr. Beast Glazer? Not Mike Mal- Now that's what I know, you're just chatting, bro. Teaser level, of course. That guy is triple S plus tier Glazer. Ludwig was like a, a solid C. But fear not, Ludwig is on the path for redemption. He was making fun of Lunchly that last video. He also said that unless Mr. Beast addressed the allegations, well, he will not be associating with him anymore or like collabing in sponsorships or whatever, which is very respectable. And in today's news, on a recent stream, Ludwig exposed Logan Paul for faking drinking his prime. So basically, Basically, Logan replaced the prime in his bottle with water, so he allegedly doesn't even drink his own drink. Which, if you've been watching this channel, is what I've been theorizing the entire time. Because this Okay. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that, right? I don't know if it's just me. I never thought every time this nigga sip a bottle of prime for the past, what, three years, it's actual prime in it. I've never seen this nigga actually crack a bottle. You know what I mean? But I just assume that we all knew that all of them is not prime. Just saying. 
I said these guys are boxers and they know what actual hydration is, right? They know that Prime is not good for hydration because that shit has potassium instead of sodium. So this might actually be a Pegasus double future side combo. Bring out the Gardevoir, bring out the Alakazam double combo. I'm on a roll. I, I talked to Logan about this. This is before we, uh... He did the CoffeeZilla shit. This is when we were in the box together. But I asked him straight up. I was like, yo, you ever have like a few primes in a day and you start buzzing off that shit? Because I never looked it up. I just stopped drinking it after that. And Logan, obviously in Logan fashion, he's like, no, dude, I'll have like in six, seven a day. And don't even bat an eye. And I was like, I was like, okay. All right, damn. And I don't feel bad telling this story. Because Logan Paul has sued CoffeeZilla, which I think is a major dick move. So I am being a dick in this moment, exposing him. But that same day that Logan Paul told me he'd chug down six or seven primes a day, he had a prime on the set with him. And we were doing a contest where we had to use those little, like, uh, needles to, like, crack open uh, from Squid Game, the Squid Game cookies. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We were doing the Squid Game cookies. And Logan Paul was the only one who was allowed to have a drink on the set. They took everybody else's drinks away because they didn't want us to use water to cheat. And me, being a f***ing cheater, I decided to grab a lo- I respect you. I respect you. You know what? Damn, my elbow's ashy. What the fuck? I mean, I respect you. Why I respect you? You and I just are like my boy. I'm a cheat. The cheater I <laughs> love with. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Me and you in the same fucking boat. <laughs> I'm a cheater just like you. Logan Paul's prime. And I wanted to use it to like help my friends on my team beat the puzzle. That was what I was trying to do. So I sneakily grabbed his prime. And I was going to put some in the cap. But when I did, I noticed the color was weird. And I took a sip. It was water. Logan Paul replaced the prime with water. So I'm pretty sure that motherfucker is lying. It looks also kind of weird. You taking another man, a grown ass man drink and sipping it. It's kind of weird. That's how you get, that's how, that's how you catch herpes sometimes. Just saying, just saying, just saying. That's a good way to catch herpes in my opinion. But I thought we all knew this too. If you drink a shit ton of these, you start buzzing. Because he replaced that shit with water straight up on my fucking mama. I'm telling you, he did that shit. Uh oh. He did that he shit. He said, like a black guy. Up. Say what you will about me. I've never put water in a fucking Red Bull can. I drink that shit straight up. I slurp that shit down. Allegedly. This is all alleged. Dude, yeah, I absolutely love allegedly. that emoji, like the red one. I wish they had that in YouTube comment sections. It would be so much better. Now, not gonna lie, that sounds exactly like Logan Paul pretending allegedly. to drink your own drink because you don't believe in your own product and you don't care about anything but money and exploiting your fans for profit. When you yourself refuse to drink Prime, that is absolutely pathetic while simultaneously telling Ludwig you drink like six to seven a day, please. If you're genuinely doing that, you got like five years left, all right? In my opinion, that shit will cause more damage than the nasty patty. Now, of course, Logan might watch this and start chugging Prime on camera, but the damage is done. We now know exactly what he thinks of it, that he would rather replace his own drink with just water than actually have it. And I've been saying it for years, all right? Water is the best drink, all right? Don't Coke, don't diet Coke. Nope, nope, nope. All the shit is bad for you. Just have water, all right? Just squeeze a lemon and put some salt. You got your electrolytes, bro. It's Facts. not that complicated. Facts. Now, the question is, would Ludwig make up an elaborate story randomly about Logan Paul to tell on stream several months after i don't think so i think he's being honest because he did say on my mama all right so that's pretty much a wrap right there now ludwig might not be the brightest bulb in the galaxy i mean this guy was stuck in iron rank in league of legends i don't know how that's humanly possible all right i could literally play blindfolded with one hand and on life support and now i understand why you uh make so much videos about mr beast you tease in here, love. We have stuck on iron level of League of Legend because you get no pussy. Makes sense, bro. The reason why I'm on this nigga head is because, and yes, I'm probably nobody. He probably won't even see this shit, but it is what it is. It's like, bro, stop, stop being just negative and just you, just, you, you profiting off negativity. I don't, I don't fuck with that no matter who you are. I don't care. Like, when I do my shit on here, I positive, I might talk my shit, 
but you'll never see a streak of negative, hurtful, mean shit. I don't fuck with that. And intentionally troll and feed and still. Oh, it's trolling. Dogs. All right, uh, then, uh, you are. You get are some pussy, my nigga. What's my point? Or if you like uh, boys, get some remember. booty, my nigga. Anyways, in the past, I would have said you can't spell Ludwig without an L, which is a factually true statement. But now I say you can't spell Ludwig without a W, another factually true statement. Here's what people are saying: No way, the forest guy, the NFT scammer, is a worthless shill. I can't believe this. My world is rocked. Everyone knows Logan and Case. I don't actually drink Prime. There's so. Many better drinks they're just making a profit off the kids drinking and guess what i personally don't even like the taste of prime i feel like this shit is sweet maybe i just got open for taste but i don't like prime and that's okay that, that's just my personal preference don't like the taste of it kill me for it so it's not oh you're just a prime it's not even that Water is so I don't it's fuck with negativity, true. man. A large portion of the population is like chronically dehydrated. Drink some water. If you're watching this, drink some water right now. But he is right on that part. The best thing to do is drink water. Look at all the people sponsored by Rockstar, Monster, or Red Bull. They'll get specially made cans that are filled with water if the opening is filmed or simply replace the liquid. Because all these drinks are just not good for you, man. If you drink Prime, you're room temperature IQ. No, actually, you started with room temperature IQ. After consuming, in my opinion, possibly, you might <sighs> drop below zero. Rare base level. Ludwig moment. That's what I'm saying. He's coming around. Anyways, he also reviewed the Lunchly on stream. Leave no crumbs. Oh, is there mold? Open it, Doss. No mold. There's no... As far as I can tell, there is no mold. Congratulations. You should be buying a lottery ticket at that point. You didn't get mold in your lunch leaf. Probably the luckiest man alive. By the way, that product is cooked, all right? Imagine being the average mom, finding out that their kid's snack has mold in it. They are never touching that shit ever again in their lifetime, as they should, all right? You should always try to protect your kids, all right? And protect their health, so... You know, shout out to the moms out there. And congrats to the Three Stooges on another colossal failure of a business. I watched a video of a guy, I think Isaiah Photo. He's a YouTuber. He uh, he ate lunchly every day for a week. It, and the whole video can be summed up into, eh, it tastes okay. Followed up by, this wasn't good for my body. He didn't die. He survived. He was just like, yeah, this isn't enough nutrition for what my body needs. This is not even like a meal. It's more of a snack. And also, I wish uh, it, I ate more. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. Love what you ate that shit so good. Tortilla. And then the pepperoni comes from that pepperoni factory where they make all the like default pepperoni. You know what I mean? Is good taste and good vibes. Rate the vibes. <laughs> close to atrocious <laughs> that's way too sweet it, it's like washing down your kit kat with a coke that's sweet i might even which one is sweet washing down vibes close to atrocious <laughs> that's way too sweet it, it's like what do you taste that was sweet kit kat with a coke oh so yeah kit that's kat sweet. i might even oh, what you? i might even make a d tier with Damn. all the uh, mold they've had it is a bad product i think it's a bad product not a scam all right, that was an okay. honest review, respectable by Ludwig. Although the Mr. Beast bridge is probably burned at this point, but let, let's be honest, you didn't want that shit anyways, all right? You're doing great without it. Just talking about the lunch week, it's D tier at best, F at worst. Marketing of kids is a huge F borderline on scam when they try to spin it as healthy for kids. I think it's a mediocre product personally. I don't think it's available in my area at all, but even if it was, I wouldn't even try it because I'd be very concerned uh, about my health. The mold is unacceptable. Food obviously needs to be sealed properly. And that brings us to the FDA, who is investigating Lunchly. TMZ reports that as of Friday, more than 10 consumers have reported unspecified issues with the product, but at least one complaint claimed that someone became ill after consuming one of the meals. The federal agency says that it's currently reviewing all submissions while it makes a determination whether an advisory will be needed to issue to protect the public health of consumers. The FDA adds that it's the responsibility of food producers to follow current good manufacturing practices and regulations to ensure their products are safe. And if regulations are not adhered to, appropriate action will be taken i hope they get sued i hope they get taken off i hope this is this is you see this thing is a fucking hater he's negative it's like okay why what is it i don't know what these niggas did to you but eh, my opinion why don't you just say hey logan paul mr beast 
get your fucking shit together and do better. Why would you wish? I wish they get sued. I wish it gets. I don't know. Y'all mostly can say, oh, I'm a Logan Paul, a KSI, Mr. Beast Dick Rider. I literally just sat down here and criticized KSI, criticized Logan Paul. Mr. Beast, I never really had on this product, to be fair. And y'all might say I'm crazy. I don't even know. I, if I see a Mr. Beast video, nothing against him. It's just like. I like the I like the un <laughs> I don't say some crazy shit. I like the low key side of YouTube, if that makes sense. You know, I like the undercover. I like the ones who stay in their basement. I, I like the grind of YouTube. Like watching Mr. Beast, in my opinion, is like watching traditional TV. You know, it's high production. It's goddamn a movie set. I don't want to watch that personally. Unless it's like some cool shit. Like, oh, that's what's up. I haven't watched a Mr. Beast video since they did that whole box. Oh, when Lugway was inside with the whole box thing. I don't think I... Wait, did I? I think that probably was the last video I've watched on Mr. Beast's channel. So I'm not even a watcher. Never had a feastable. So therefore, I, it's just... I just don't fuck with the negative and nothing. Like, you're literally wishing on their downfall. That's crazy to me. The thing I can't believe is that they still have not apologized for it despite being aware of the situation. Okay, we saw I always think I lied. That wasn't the uh, last one. I watched the one, the, the fifth YouTube where the Lugwin was in. Then I watched the following week, Surviving 10, 10 Days in a Nuclear Bunker, which was two months ago. I don't, I don't watch, I'll be honest, I don't watch Mr. Beast stuff like that. I'm subscribed, but I don't watch it. That Logan and KSI were literally laughing about it in the podcast saying, I like my cheese moldy, bro. Like, if people and your own fans are allegedly falling sick, that bad is joke, so though. bad. Do you not care about your fans? That's a stupid question. Of course they don't. But yeah, apparently more streamers are finding mold in their product. This is apparently before it's being recalled, allegedly. Twitch streamer, a spicy cow, found mold in their lunch late while trying to disprove Rosanna Pansino's moldy lunch late video. They claimed that Pansino was clearly biased against Mr. Beast and did believe her video only to find mold in their lunch late. Even your biggest glazer is getting proven wrong now. Oh, look at the bottom right here. No way. What? <laughs> no. Welcome to America. But chat, there's actually mold. That's a hundred percent mold. I'm so sorry. Oh no, do you see it right there? Do you see it? Boom bye bye in the pussy boy head! I don't mean to laugh! <laughs> Holy fuck! That shit got me off guard! <laughs> oh my god! Oh that scared the shit out of me. I I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? I'm sorry. That shit took a major laugh. Shouts out to the LGB, you know. <laughs> you, 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 you niggas are the real. <laughs> you niggas are the real. <laughs> yeah, you niggas, you niggas out there. Y'all niggas, hey, y'all niggas hot. Pause. But y'all niggas mean that shit. <laughs> y'all niggas, y'all niggas are the. <laughs> if I. <laughs> If I don't believe somebody, I believe y'all. <laughs> I believe y'all. I believe you. I, hey, I believe you. I believe you. Sealed and it's molded. What is this? I'm not lying, dude. Don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. That is 100% mold. If you feed your kids lunch, or you're <laughs> a bad parent. I agree. Of course, you can't trust these guys. But okay, we see this every video. We we need to stop, guys. It's over. We got a more Pegasus fan, and we just got Mr. Beast in like a hospital or something. I hope this becomes a thing. Buying lunch is like CSGO cases to see if they have mold. Rosanna tweets about it. It's wild to me that people have a hard time accepting the truth. How many instances of mold have they been in lunch really now? I'll never doubt you again, gang. Every day they refuse to make a statement about mold is another day that fans are potentially eating mold. Our lunch is being discontinued. I was just sent this photo that appears to show a Kroger store 
that has the lunch lease turkey stack and is marked as discontinued. And we got item discontinued. Please remove all tabs and fill the hole with neighboring products. And we got the lunch lease turkey stack and turkey and cheddar cheese crackers. That's a long ass name, by the way. Allocation 11 units. Demand 2 units, bruh. I saw a sign at my local Kroger store saying that they were pulled from their shelves. Due to public health concerns, the FDA has recalled the lunch late products. We will restock as soon as deemed fit for consumption and ship through our warehouses. We apologize for the inconvenience. Wow, that's actually crazy if that's true. The FDA doesn't like their cheese moldy, bruh. <laughs> okay, after hearing all of this, here's what KSI hey! responded with. If your cheese... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Trench is crazy. Boss. Wait, boss. Don't drip for three. It ain't for me. Check this out. Three inches, baby. Oh, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's no! What a bunch of responsible creators that everybody should trust. Uh, dude, how are these guys still going? They have like the maturity of a 14 year old. I don't know how their careers are still there. I feel like at this point on the internet, unless you literally touch kids, you're probably just fine. It seems like you can get away with any other crime and any other oh. offense and the internet just doesn't care. It's just insane to me. I like my lunch leak discontinued. Anyways, moving on to Rosanna Pancino. She has released another video on Mr. Beast where allegedly, Chris Tyson has shared uh, child pictures, you know, 13 year old uh, that was illegal in a group chat with allegedly uh, Mr. Beast as well. Now, I can't actually show any of this because it is literally illegal material, but she has actually reported it to the FBI. She tweeted out, yeah, I have what I found and my concerns to the authorities FBI. Hopefully they'll look into the Mr. Beast Telegram company chat logs and other concerns at Team YouTube. Last one to skip the feds wins $10,000. So yeah, it seems Mr. Beast and Chris have yet another allegation to add to the long list. Here's what the comments are saying. These chat logs were confirmed to be legitimate by a new few former Mr. Beast employees who were in the chats. I'm continuing to sort through them and we'll keep you updated in the coming weeks. I'm a teacher and so many of your students have talked about how Mr. Beast is a bad person after coming across one of your videos. So just know what you're doing is good and getting through to most people than you know. Much respect. The fact that Tyson is a parent makes me rather worried about the kid. No way people can defend him anymore. This is insane. Let me know what you guys thought about everything in the comments as always. I will be rating and uh, sorry I can't respond to everyone like the old days but uh, I will occasionally respond. Okay. If he has some weird shit like the whole pedophile, pedophilia, whatever it is, if I can say the word, too bad. If what that is, what if she is saying true, there's nothing to throw that nigga in itself. Put him next to Diddy. Matter of fact, let him go to list. No, no. Matter of fact, let him go. In, let him go in the cell with Big Leroy. Then go next to Diddy. So the Diddy could diddly with him. If that's true, if it's child, the child P word, you know, get get rid of them niggas. There's no excuse for that. I don't have nothing to say, but allegedly, this is fine inside the chats. It is what it is. Oh no, let me say it is what it is. But that shit, I don't know. I I don't even know who she is. So, but yeah, this this dude, Logan Portal and KSI shit. Eh. Yeah. I thought we knew this. <laughs> I knew this. <laughs> it's just negative shit. Yeah, whatever. But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace.